guys, we are so excited to have you. We're in our kitchen again and about to make dinner. Michelle, what are we having for dinner tonight? Black bean bell pepper wraps. Black bean bell pepper wraps. Try saying that five times fast. So, for tonight's dinner, here are all of our ingredients. Seems pretty easy, if you ask me. We got some beans, we got some cheese, we got some vegetables, some spices, some oil, and the most important part, the burratas. Burratatas. Burratatas. Tortillas. Burratatas. 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 Gotta open up. You can do it. Nice hits. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Steve1989, MRE Info. MRE Info 1989, heck yeah. My boy. So we're gonna take these beanie boys. Beanie boys. And we're just gonna scoop. Rinse them. Oh god, my fingers. I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding, I promise. I'm not that careless in the kitchen. Or is she? You don't get any right now. Yeah? Smash that garlic. Just like we need you to smash that like button. Hey! hey! But please, smash that like button, guys. We maybe the subscribe button. The too. subscribe button and the notification bell, right? Yes. Yes. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to my little brother Trey for requesting a shout out and also a cooking video. Here you go, bro. All right, so we've had our oil heating and we're, it's looking a little shimmery. So we're gonna throw our onion in and cook about five minutes until it's translucent. Oh, that sizzle though. Listen to it sizzle. Sizzling strings. You want to tell them about sizzling strings? So when I was in elementary, middle school, high school, a part of an orchestra called uh, Sizzling Strings, and it was a fantastic program and uh, support band and orchestra in elementary school, guys. Great idea. This has been a PSA. <laughs> Thank you for coming to your TED Talk. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. We're just gonna move these around a little bit so they don't burn. Because nobody wants a burnt onion. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Whatever you want. Live your life. Make your own choices. Don't let anybody tell you what to do or who to be. That's, that's like, like some truth right there. Again, welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> All right, so our onions are cooked down. They're getting translucent. We're gonna add in some garlic, BB. Hey. Peppers. Throw in the peppers. All right, we're gonna let that cook for another five-ish minutes. Get everything nice and cooked down. All right, so something I like to do with my spices is put them in a container. And guess what, guys? We're not measuring because we like living life on the wild side. <laughs> So we got some salt, we got some cumin, cumin, sorry, whatever, however, not whatever, however. We do some red pepper flakes. Now, if you're like Zach, then you love red pepper flakes. If you're like me, you like getting your spices from elsewhere. So recently, I found this chipotle chili pepper, and this is gonna give a dash of that because we like a little bit of the spice. Yeah, what's that flavor like? Hot. It's hot. It's a it's a chipotle, so it's got that smoky um, flavor to it. Mix that up. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. Right. Let's go ahead and toss that in. Oh, the smell is amazing. We'll reserve a little bit of that. All right, now that everything has kind of gotten to know each other, we're gonna throw in some Beanie Boys. 
I love black beans. I think they're my favorite bean. Although pinto beans are pretty good. Hey, you're a pinto bean I'm a pinto. Guy. So now that these beans are in here and heating up a little bit, I'm gonna add in a little bit more of our spice. So we're gonna get it on them beans. All right, these beans only need to be on the heat for just a minute. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut the heat and let them just warm with the veggies. All right, guys, let's wrap these burritos up. So we're gonna grab our, uh, our filling, which looks delicious. Gonna fill it up. Uh, probably good. Gonna take some cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, non fat Greek yogurt to mine because it tastes exactly like sour cream and it's much, much better for you. Just gonna get all that in there. Roll it up. And we're going to take a little butter. You want to lay the seam side down so that closes up first. When you hear a nice little sizzle like that, you know you've got it. It's like you're making a grilled cheese. That's really what we're doing here. It's just making a grilled cheese. And you maybe want to give it like 20, 25 seconds on that side. Just not long enough to brown and crisp up. And then just flip it. What do you think, Michelle? Is 25 seconds long enough? You're the burrito master here. I am the burrito master. Flip. Oh yeah, that's that's what you want. You want it to be nice and crispy. All right, so I'm about to hit this burrito with some Cholula. Cholula. Yes. I know Zach's a big proponent of cleaning as you cook, but the great thing about this recipe is it requires one pan, a cutting board, a knife, a garlic press if you have it, and that's about it. And of course something to stir with, but that's about it. Honestly, I am all for a recipe that does not require that many utensils in the kitchen because it's less cleanup at the end of the night, except for cleaning this plate. The great thing about this recipe is you can add a lot of other things to it, whatever you like in your burritos. But just this bare basics is 268 calories, which is great if you're looking to be a little bit more health conscious. And of course, we're celebrating Meatless Monday because it is Monday today, so this is our vegetarian option. So if you're, you are a vegetarian or you're looking for more vegetarian options, highly suggest this recipe. For sure. If you let all the beans and stuff cool after pulling them off the heat, make up a couple burritos, you can pop them in the freezer for later. So you've got meals for days. We'll link the recipe we followed in the comments below so you have easy access to it whenever you want. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, like Michelle said, this is a super easy recipe. It's really simple to make. It's budget friendly. There's really not a lot that goes into it and it fills that kind of like, Oh, I want to go to Chipotle craving when some you just can't, right? So. Most definitely. You got to watch out on this recipe a little bit because it can get a little carby, but for the most part, you're pretty good to go healthy-wise. Just watch your ingredients and make sure if you're counting calories and carbs to look at your labels before you add everything in. Okay, y'all, the question for this video is, what do you do for Meatless Monday? Are you vegetarian all the time? Are you vegetarian a little bit of the time? Let us know in the comments down below. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, we are only around 380 more subscribers away from 1,000. So our race to 1,000 is... It's on. It's on, man. It's, it's going. We are almost there. So please share this video with your friends. Share our channel with your friends. Just, if you like us, please just share. Or don't, your family, Or too. your family. It doesn't you, have to be friends. If you don't have friends, that's cool, too. <laughs> you can have just family. Um, just please... <laughs> Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and smash that bell notification. Smash it! Okay, y'all, we'll see you next time. Can you stop eating for five seconds? <laughs> Pin it, save it, email it to somebody you know would be about it. All those great things. Hey, you little rap star. What? Bean bell pepper wraps. Noise. 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 Noise.
Don't laugh at my burrito. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.